What's the minimum he should make an hour? I mean, that's a tough question because it depends where we're at, where we're living. Okay, we're living in we're living on the West Coast. I need the minimum he should make an hour. Two hundred. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. A minimum two hundred. Minimum. I'm from Colorado, so it'd be higher than that. <laughs> As crazy as $200,000 a year sounds, the way society is going right now, that's really how much you need to make to feel comfortable out here in these streets. Everything is so fucking expensive. Last year's probably the first time in my life I made over $100,000. And I do not know where it all went. Cost of living has risen so high. You need to make about $200,000. Right now, I'm trying to buy a house. I have one of those jobs that I feel as though a lot of people would want to have. Off of the money I make from my job, I still wouldn't be able to afford a house. So with my job and YouTube, or if I just did YouTube alone, I will be able to afford the house. But everybody is not on YouTube, son. So yeah, bro. I can't even make fun of them for saying they man need to make $200,000 a year. If we married and my husband refuses to share his location with me, yes, I have heard of this scenario before. We get a divorce. Matter of fact, we would have spoken about this already during our dating stage. And if I find out you don't believe in sharing your location with your wife, we ain't going to make it no further anyway. Because I know what it means. There's only one reason a person don't want to share their location with you that you're romantically involved with, supposed to be in a relationship with, and that's because they don't want you to know where they're at. There's only one reason a person don't want you to know where they're at, because they know you wouldn't like where they're at, right? That's simple. Okay. So, no, that's what cheating looks like. Cheating don't look like you walking in on a man in the bed with a woman. We don't all get the benefit of... of, of of seeing it for a fact like that. And yes, I call it a benefit. If you're getting cheated on, you may as well know you're getting cheated on. So yeah, it's a benefit for it to be given to you in such a sure package. We don't get that benefit. You got to look at the signs. You got to stop ignoring your gut. You got to use your intuition. You got to use your mind and your common sense. That's what cheating looks like. Cheating looks like, you know, he hide his phone. He always falls asleep. Before I go into say what I want to say, I apologize, man, for whoever it was that hurt you. Now, if we in the talking stage and you tell me it's mandatory that I share my location with you, I'm I'm good. Every couple I know that have these type of shared location arguments, their relationship just be toxic. Because to me, there's no trust. If there's no trust, there's no relationship. I sound like Dr. Phil. But if there's no trust, there's no relationship. Let me give y'all a, a scenario, right? One of my peoples, he was dating this chick. He used to let her borrow his car. They broke up because one day it took her too long to come pick him up. He goes through his phone. He tracks her location. So basically, he was able to see everywhere she went with his car. Nigga said, oh, nah. See, this out the way right here. What was she doing over here? Now, personally, do I think she was cheating? I don't think she was cheating that particular day. Let's say that. <laughs> I don't know if that's worse or is other guy I know came in the crib and he smelled doodoo in the house and he was like, yo, that don't smell like my wife doodoo. It smelled like it was in here and he took a shit before he left. Call me Glycerina, the way you guys rub me the wrong way. Do not FaceTime me without texting first. Shit was only cute when Kim Possible did it. You just asked me to get blown up. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little distracted. <laughs> Um, damn, she got them things out. First off, I'm gonna tell you this. I can tell she toxic as hell, bro. I'll be following her. She's a comedian. Her videos to me be hilarious. But you know, she Hispanic. Y'all already know how them Hispanic women get down. I told y'all, dealing with a Hispanic woman is life changing. I've never seen any man get in a relationship with a Hispanic lady and at the end of that relationship, he's the same. Them niggas be having post-traumatic stress. <laughs> <laughs> but she's right. She's right, bro. Don't randomly FaceTime me. Especially if we in a talking stage and you just randomly FaceTime me. That's a red flag. Per I don't have to worry about that because I have an Android. Yeah, we don't do FaceTime on the Android. We do WhatsApp. I've been trying to read for the past 20 minutes and your bike is what just sitting is idle. With you? It had to be turned off, man. I'm sorry. It's way too freaking What are you it talking had. about? Where are you going with my teeth? Bro, that has to be staged. There is no way if I'm sitting on a bike, somebody's randomly be coming up taking my keys off because I'm disturbing them from reading. You going to sleep. You catching a quick NyQuil nap. Now, I'm not going to say that stuff like this couldn't happen because there's people out here that don't understand overstepping boundaries, but I know for me, it's that's not going down. Bring rank bucket list. Catch five bodies. Huh? Catch five catch bodies? Five? Five. How many, how many days do you have to catch five? I've already reached it. Come on, man. <laughs> Does your bucket list reset every day? Or how does yeah. that work? 
Wait, so did you have five in a day? Yeah. So I guess I'm here for seven days, five times seven. I can't tell she's bad at math or you're just waiting for me to answer. I can't. It's 35. Five times seven is 35. Yeah. <laughs> 35 in seven days is your goal. Yes. She belongs to the streets. She gotta be trolling. Do y'all remember the old spring break videos? The wildest thing girls were looking forward to doing on spring break is getting the Mardi Gras beads. So they'll flash the camera for some beads. 35 bodies, bro. That's serial killer activities. I'm blind and I'm a guide dog user and I'm gonna show you guys how I cross the street. And I will stop me at the edge of the street. Good boy. And then I will listen for parallel traffic to know that it's okay for me to go forward. Right now, I hear nothing, so I know it's okay. Radar, forward. If it's a high traffic area, there are usually the buttons that you can press that will do the countdown for you. Here is not super high traffic, so it's a lot easier for me to cross. Sky dogs are also trained to know intelligent disobedience. So if I say radar forward and he sees a car coming, he will either not go or pull me across faster. Hope you learned something. Bye! I'm not going to lie, when I see blind folks with their guide dogs, like, I'll be amazed. I remember when I lived in the city, there was a guy that lived in my building that was blind and he had a dog. It was amazing to see him navigate through Peachtree. If you're from Georgia, you know Peachtree Street in Atlanta. It'd be amazing, bro. He would stop at red lights. He knew when to walk, when to not walk. He would avoid people. Growing up, we used to watch them samurai movies with the blind samurais, and they used to be out there washing everybody up because they had superhuman hearing. I'm convinced now from watching, you know, blind people move and maneuver, those stories weren't all fiction. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. Next video. Next video. Mm-mm. 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 I ain't finna be over here thirsting. That thing healthy, though. Y'all seen that? Y'all caught a glimpse of that? That thing healthy. Christine, well, we got our hands on this exclusive video and immediately showed it to Atlanta police. It was shot right here at 10th and Piedmont at the Rainbow Crosswalk. And tonight, police say they want to talk to the two men you're about to see. This is surveillance video you will see only on Fox 5. It was recorded on Piedmont Avenue in Midtown by Atlanta Parking Solutions and shows two men who appear to be just hanging out, casing the area with hoods on and hands in their pockets. It is an odd hour to stroll just before 3 o'clock in the morning. A few minutes later, three men are walking down Piedmont Avenue. They appear to be followed by two men right at the Rainbow Crosswalk. The same two men we saw earlier. The three victims head into Tin Bar at the corner of 10th and Piedmont for less than 10 minutes. When they come back outside and head to their car at about 3.15 in the morning, it appears the two robbers are waiting for them. One of the victims quickly realizes they were being confronted by gunmen and he runs away. Atlanta police say the two crooks robbed the remaining two men of their cell phones and car keys. It may be hard to see, but police say one of the suspects pistol whips the driver so hard he is hospitalized. You could hear a witness yell for someone to call 911. This all happened just two blocks and three hours after Atlanta police say gunmen broke into a car at the luxury Dagny apartment garage on Juniper Street. They have not connected the two crimes. Atlanta police investigators want to identify these men and question them. They are asking you to call APD if you know who they are. Good afternoon, Christine. The crazy thing is, um, Atlanta is not the same anymore, dog. Y'all really some bums out here. If you see two niggas outside, yo, let me tell you how you can spot when niggas finna do some dumb shit in Atlanta. A shiesty, a hoodie, or gloves. Once you see that, they definitely about to be doing some dumb shit. I'll give you a perfect example. The other day, I'm about to take my family to get some pizza. It's probably 11 o'clock at night. We finna go to Fellini's. If you know about Fellini's, then you know what good pizza tastes like. We driving down Peachtree Street, and I see two young kids. They had to be about 15, 16 years old. One 
crosses the street in front of my car, and I'm looking at him. And mind you now, I always stay with that thing on me, because you just don't know. As I drive further up, I see another one, and he's just walking on the side. Based on where they're coming from, I already know what they tried to do. It's some dealerships on the side of Peachtree. It's Hyundai, Gravity Auto, and CarMax. I'm not 100% sure if it's Hyundai or it might be something else, but I know for sure Gravity Auto and CarMax is right next to each other. So apparently, them boys probably went over there and tried to steal a car, and... It didn't go as planned, so now they walking up Peachtree, looking crazy. We go, get the pizzas, we driving back. I told my wife before, too, I'm like, yo, them little look like they was doing some suspicious shit. She was looking at me like, yeah, all right, whatever, you know, because she think I'm paranoid. But my thing is, you better be safe than sorry. So as I'm driving back, it's an ass of cop cars in front of CarMax. It's like four or five cop cars in front of CarMax. So they might have did what they did, the alarm went off, and now the cops came. You can spot them, bro. If you walk in at 3 in the morning and you see niggas in hoodies and, and a pool shiesty mask with gloves on, they're up to no good. And to be honest with you, bro, if you walking around in the A without no gun, you stupid. There is no reason why you living in Georgia and you don't own a gun. 